right, good morning, and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say, and I work in horse trailer sales here at TransWest. We also deal in another kind of horsepower. Um, we're gonna kind of do something a little fun today. We don't get a lot of these videos in on these smaller toy haulers that we have, but this was actually a joint venture between Cimarron, Outlaw, and TransWest um, to create a super high quality toy hauler um, that can go down the road for 20 plus years without having any issues. They're structurally one of the strongest trailers out there and we've put a really high quality interior in them um, with outlaw conversions and we think that you, you guys are going to really enjoy seeing these on the market and hopefully one of you can take one home today. So what we've got here is one of our smaller Cimarron Freedom trailers. Um, so we've got two different categories of our toy haulers uh, here on the lot. We've got our 16 foots with 16 foot garages and we've got our 13 footers with 16 foot garages. So you've got an overall length of 29 feet on the floor here. So that's from the box back. They're pretty tall trailers. They're 710 tall, gives you lots of clearance. You can have a nice big garage opening in the back, lots of ample headroom up above and they are eight four wide. So that gives you a lot more room to clear those, those wheel wells and get those big uh, side-by-sides and snowmobiles inside your trailer. So this one right here is one of our, we've got them in three different colors. We've got black, silver, and white. So if you like this, but maybe you want a different color, give us a call. We probably have what you're looking for here on the lot. So let's kind of start up at the front here got this nice wraparound nose on this trailer. Gives it a really clean, finished look. So we come under here. This is one of the workhorses of this trailer. So under here, you have the Xantrex 2000. It's the Freedom Series. And this is what all your power is routed through. So as you can hear, we don't have a generator running on this trailer. But when we step inside, we will have the access to the microwave. We can turn on um, the TV, the radio, all of that good stuff. And that's all that power is being routed through this, this inverter, which is really, really awesome. If you want something that's just a little bit less maintenance and um, super easy to use, this thing really does the trick. So as in here, you can see we've got our battery disconnects, um, our house battery disconnects, and just a whole bunch of wires enclosed in here. You can lock this up if you need to. You do have airflow out the sides so that it can get some nice airflow going through here. And you're not going to have to worry about any rain or any weather getting in and doing any damage to your inverter. We've got a single hydraulic jack here, so you don't have to crank. We're, we're not going to make you do that on a, this nice of a trailer. So it's really easy. Push of a button, you can go up and down. Right down below here, we kind of assume that a lot of people that are going to be using these, they're probably going to go for long weekend trips. They want to be a little bit more off the grid, a little more self-sustaining. So we've put two 30 pound propane bottles on this one, um, which I'm putting to use right now because I've got the heat running inside, so it's a little bit warmer. Um, but we wanted people to not have to worry about running back into town every night or day to have to refill propane tanks. Um, if you are using them pretty heavily. So we've got those bigger bottles on there just for your convenience. Up front we do have the spare tire. Um, Cimarron's come standard with the aluminum wheels, so we've done the black aluminum wheels on this one. I just think it looks really good with that, um, those black side sheets we've got. And then that little green cap, if you guys have watched any of our other videos, you know that that means these tires are nitrogen filled. So nitrogen, especially on a cold morning like this where it's supposed to get 65 later today, um, it's going to be a lot more stable for the PSI than just filling it with regular old fashioned air. So you're not going to see those match massive temperature swings, um, which can cause uh, your, your tires to heat up too quickly and have issues. So all of our tires on these, this trailer is nitrogen filled. So we're working our way this way. Um, usually I'd have the awning out, but it is freezing this morning. We did wash this one, so it is frozen at the moment. Um, but it's a huge 16 foot armless awning. We've got the LED light strips underneath. So if you want to use this in the summertime, 
when it's not quite so cold, <laughs> you can have your, your awning out at night. You've got your lights on. Um, this is a really, really great trailer to use a lot of the outdoor space. Uh, most of the people that are using toy haulers, they're not spending a ton of time inside. We've made it very comfortable for the time that you are inside. But a lot of people tend to have, I mean, you're outside, you're on the trails, you're usually cooking and grilling outside. So we made the outside just as comforting as the inside on this trailer. The exterior here, you have the 050 aluminum uh, sheets here, the, the black uh, aluminum sheets. And then down below, we've actually done a side extrusion on these trailers. This is what we carry on our horse trailers. It adds a lot of strength and if somebody walks by with a bike and it tips it over you're not going to have this side extrusion is quite heavy duty you're not going to have the issues that you would with scratching and anything like that if somebody accidentally walks by and drops bike. so let's head inside and we'll kind of work our way through all right so we've got a nice big front step here um, this trailer is actually we've rotated the axles it's on 7,000 pound axles two of them um, there's a spread axle over there as well and we've blocked blocked the axles by three inches and we've also rotated them down to lift the trailer up we know you guys aren't going to be probably just driving these down the highway so for those of you that want to take these off trail a little bit more you've got plenty of room to do that all right it's nice and warm and toasty in here you've got that um, that furnace running so it's a 25,000 BTU furnace on this trailer and it is ducted so we've got it running into the back into the bathroom up in the nose um, you've got one AC unit on this trailer it's got a heat strip um, we do have a, a max air fan in the back which can be replaced with an AC unit if you need to um, we've done a 50 amp service for this trailer in the event that you ever want to have two ACs here um, because of how we've got this set up, there are sleeping areas in the back in the event that you want to bring a lot of people. You have some kids that you want to throw back there. So you can make it really, really comfortable for them. Um, you know, kind of make changes as you go. So up in the nose here, this is a 13 foot uh, trailer for the living quarters. And you've got your queen bed up in the nose. And that's a. have had so many people compliment outlaw and how comfortable their queen beds are. I've actually had people order living quarters and then they've ordered additional beds for either their houses or anything like that because their beds are so comfortable. This TV is on a swivel so it just pops right out. So if you wanted to watch TV from the dinette that's something that's very easy to do and you can um, if you decide to, you want to get back in bed and watch TV in bed, you just swivel it right back and it does lock nicely back into place. So that's wonderful. You've got some shallow kit closets up in the nose. You can throw some shirts back there, um, any of your nighttime essentials. We did do a grab bar on each side here so that if you're getting up, it's a little bit bigger th of a step than some people are comfortable with. So this, this handle here just really makes it really easy to get up and down. You have additional storage up here. There's big cabinet space on this trailer. Outlaw is very well known for putting storage wherever they can on a trailer. So you'll see tons of little hidey hole places to put extra things. On these trailers, we want to make it as comfortable as for people as possible, and people like to bring their stuff along, so we try and make sure there's a place to put everything. Got a big wardrobe right here. These shelves can come out if you need to. They are adjustable. Um, a lot of people use this as your pantry because you're so close to the kitchen right here. Got a really big closet in the bathroom that I'm excited to show you guys too. For those of you that want just a little bit more counter space, on this 13-foot short wall we are limited in how much stuff we can fit into this space so by having this pop-up countertop extension it matches the current countertop it's very sturdy it just gives you a little more room to work with on this trailer as I mentioned a lot of people aren't going to be using these trailers and exclusively staying in them the whole time they're gonna spend a lot of t their time outside so we've kind of minimized <laughs> we've kind of minimized how we've got everything set up. You have a little small sink, um, your two burners here, so you can get
get your coffee going, you know, cook, sa saute some stuff on the stove. It's got a nice clean glass exterior there. All of our shades on this trailer are day night shades. So if you want it to be, have some privacy, but just let a little bit more light in, um, it's easy to change if you want um, to be able to see outside. That's another easy adjustment. So these day night shades are on all your windows, um, apart from the, the, the blackout ones that we have on there as well. So it just makes it really, really easy to adjust. As I mentioned earlier, we do have that inverter on this trailer. So your control panel for your Xantrex inverter is actually right here. So it's really easy to access. Right when you step in, you have all your controls for your lights. You have your house battery disconnect right here, so you can turn your lights on and off. Um, but you can see right here, and it's a little hard because we've still got the plastic covering on it for the, for the future owner, um, but it tells you what your battery level is, what, what kind of load you've got on your batteries right now. Um, we've got our inverter on. If we were plugged in, this little light up here would be um, green, so it would be uh, charging. But these batteries that we have on this trailer, that's another big upgrade that we did. So these batteries are actually Lion Energy lithium ion batteries. And you probably didn't see them up in the front where we keep most batteries on trailers, but they're actually right down here. So we've kept them inside. These lithium ion batteries are really, really cool. You can orient them however you want. You can stack them, turn them on their sides. They're not directional like the marine grade batteries. You don't have to worry about that caustic, those caustic lead, ad, lead acid batteries um, inside your living quarters. So these actually have a little on off switch. So in the event that you ever leave all of your stuff on and go back in your house and forget to turn anything off and your battery gets drained all the way down, they actually will turn themselves off if they get outside of their, their power parameters or anything like that so that when you come back in, you have enough power to press the on button and get everything turned back on. Like I said, everything goes through the inverter, so you have to be able to get that power going back through the inverter. Um, they charge incredibly fast. Anytime we've accidentally let, left these on, um, we're able to plug them in and come back out a half hour later and it's already probably halfway charged, which is really, really awesome. You don't have to wait a long time. Um, the great thing about these is if you do leave them on, like I said, they do turn themselves off. If you leave a lead acid battery on and it's as cold as it is right now, if it gets below freezing, you've pretty much killed those batteries. So these are really awesome. Um, they're quite a bit lighter than the lead acid batteries and they have a lifetime warranty against them. So they're an expensive upgrade, but we felt like the cost of ownership for the trailer is something that we need to take into account. So we wanna put really high quality items and appliances on these trailers. We wanna make sure that, I mean, you can finance a lot of these trailers out for a very long time. So we wanna make sure that they're able to last the life of your loan and then some. So by doing that, we put high quality equipment on this trailer. All right. So under here, you have your um, six gallon hot water heater. So I mentioned the propane up front. Um, you can take a nice quick hot shower with that. Um, a lot of people wonder why we don't put the big 10 gallon water heaters on here. We find that a lot of people would rather take a quick shower and have people shower back to back very quickly. Those six gallon water heaters actually recharge a lot faster than the 10 gallons. So it's really nice to have those um, and they work really, really well. All right, down below, talk about storage a lot. You've got tons of storage under this dinette um, as well as this one. This actually folds down into a single bed in the event that you want to have somebody sleep here. This is your little center insert. So when you put those cushions down, it kind of fills the gap there up above. We have a ton more storage. And these trailers come with an Outlaw warranty as well as a Cimarron warranty. So Outlaw has one of the best warranties in the business. It's a um, three-year interior warranty on these Freedoms. And then your Cimarron's is a three-year hitch to bumper and an eight-year structural. So they both believe in their product and they believe they have a really high quality item. So they want to stand behind it. All right.
right, so we've got a big 6.0 fridge here with the freezer separate. This is really great. You can stock this up and you can have go out for a long weekend, not have to run to the store, not have to run to a restaurant. You've got everything you need right here. Can run off of um, AC power or uh, propane. So kind of whichever um, you've got most access to. All right, so as we work our way back, you've got the microwave. As I mentioned, um, that does run off the inverter, so you don't have to have a generator if you don't want to. So back in this bathroom, you've got a pretty spacious bathroom here, and especially for tall people, this is really, really nice. Um, you've got a skylight up above, it's a big half moon shower, um, you've got a little place to put some shampoos, your soap bar. Um, right now we've got it winterized, so we've got um, the attachments off. You've got a vanity, big medicine cabinet, and it's really bright in here. Um, so, uh, Outlaw does a great job. These LED lights put off a lot of light. Um, they use less power. It's something we really enjoy. You've got a porcelain toilet here, so it's not one of those plastic rickety ones that you're going to sit on and feel like you're going to break. I mentioned a big closet here as well. So it's a double rod, hang a lot of stuff in there. You guys might be wondering what's under here. We've actually got the water tank. So you've got a 60 gallon water tank on this trailer. And we've put it back here, nice and close to the axles. Kind of a great use of space. Under here, I just wanted to show you another thing that Outlaw does. They make all these trap doors so that if you open cabinets, you're not gonna find wires and plumbing just hanging out everywhere. Everything is clean, um, all their wires are single run. You've got the water pump down there and all your, your drains. Um, but they use a lot of house grade uh, fixtures for these, for these trailers, so you're not gonna have the issues with the plastic um, getting dry rotted and all, all of that. Uh, they have the wiring diagram for every trailer they've ever built, so if we have any questions, um, you can call up Outlaw's 24-7 customer support line and they can help troubleshoot issues for you. Another really great reason to buy an Outlaw conversion. Alright, so this is probably what most people are excited about, is the garage. So the reason that most people buy toy haulers is to haul their toys. So we've got a 16 foot garage on this trailer. Um, I mentioned earlier, you can make this very comfortable for people that want to sleep back here. So you've got, I'm standing over here because it's actually vented, the furnace is vented over here. Um, it's quite warm. <laughs> so um, you've got the furnace vented in here. This one has a max air fan on it with a rain sensor. If you want, that is um, something that can be switched out for another AC unit. So if you go do a lot of stuff in the desert, it's really hot during the summer, you can easily switch that out with a um, AC unit. You've got two fold down beds here. Um, this is what they look like when they're folded up against the wall, so you can easily fit your toys in here. Um, if you want, you can also use this as more of a hangout space. This turns easily into a couch, so you can have two sofas side by side here. I know a lot of people, they, you know, if you, they've got a lot of friends traveling with them, they'll just get one of those pop-up tables and they'll have a nice meal um, back here once their toys are outside. So like I said, there's a lot of usable space on this trailer. It doesn't all have to be in the living quarters. Up here you have a big shelf for all those oil cans, additional gas cans, but you don't need all those gas cans, and I'll show you guys why in a second. Um, because you are putting toys in here, you do need some airflow. So you've got the two-way uh, vents that you see on a lot of our horse trailers. You can pop them either direction. Um, big shelves up here, um, cabinets, they're easy to clean, aluminum. I think they look really, really sharp as well. If you've got a bunch of jackets and coats and tie downs, um, great place to store all this. And you've actually got a window back here. 
So if you've got people that are heavy sleepers and they don't want to be bothered by the sunlight, just stick them back here and they've got these um, blackout shades back here so you're not going to know if it's day or night. All right. We've got the rubber flooring, very easy to clean. Um, you can just broom, hose, mop it out. Uh, we had tons of people at our display show, at the stock show, walking in and out with buddy, muddy boots. They'd walk um, through the animal areas and then they'd come in here. So every day we, it was so quick and easy to clean these out. Um, it just, it made me kind of a believer in this rubberized flooring. You guys have to have a way to secure all those toys that you're going to put in here. So we do have airline or cargo track running down each side of the trailer. Um, the really nice thing about those is you can get a lot of different attachments to perfectly fit whatever you're looking to strap down. Um, and you can change them by each little, little circular increment. So you can really get specific about where you want your tie downs to go, which is really, really awesome. They slide pretty easily. A little shelf for you to work on. And this rear ramp, you'll see we've got cables here, really clean and tucked away. The mechanism isn't, you don't have those big cables that if kids are running by, they're gonna clothesline themselves on. Um, these cables make it really, really easy to put this ramp up and down. Uh, I'm not the strongest person here and I don't have any issues with it. Up above, you do have a little spoiler back there. It'll keep the back of your trailer really clean. Um, as well as some people have said, makes you go fast. And just notice all the LED lights. They're super bright at night. I actually, since the time change, um, it's actually dark before I leave work here now. And I had this plugged in last night and I feel like we need to do a video at night because it, it looks so cool with all the lights. You've got all of your running lights up above. Um, this trailer is just really, really sharp looking at night, especially with all those LED lights. Alrighty. So right here, you have your um, 30 gallon fuel tank underneath and your fuel fill station. So this is almost like if you're go to, gonna go to uh, a gas station, you've got a little fuel pump that will fill up your toys. So 30 gallons um, gives you a lot of room to have a lot of weekend fun. So you can have a lot of fun in the desert and not have to worry about running back into town or sloshing all that gas around by filling up those gas tanks. I mentioned that spread axle earlier. Gives it a really cool look, but it also helps disperse your weight um, so you don't have quite as much tongue weight on these trailers. I've heard from a lot of people that these are some of the best pulling trailers out there, um, especially if you've gone from one of those really big fifth wheel toy haulers. I think you'll absolutely love how these pull, how maneuverable they are, um, and how much gas mileage you probably save. Down below, we did upgrade the size of the holding tanks on this trailer. So standard on our horse trailers are 30-30. These are 39 gallon custom tanks that we put on there. Figure people are gonna probably be out there a little bit longer. Um, so we make it a little bit easier for them to uh, kind of boondock and be off grid. On all of our trailers over 26 feet at TransWest, we do a little center turn signal light here. This, is, this indicator light lets people know if you're trying to get over. These trailers are big, especially at night. It kind of helps to give people that are maybe near you or next to you an indication that you're trying to get over. Inside, we showed you where that water tank was, so you do have the exterior fill. If you just want to not be connected to utilities, um, you can just fill with potable water um, your, your house tank. If you are hooked into someone or you're camping out at somebody's house, you do have the city water connection so you can get constant flow of water going. Right here, this is kind of warm. You've got the furnace vents back here as well as your fridge vents. As I mentioned earlier, you've got 50 amp service in the event that you ever want to go to two AC units. And then these frameless windows, I think, just really complete the look of the trailer. Um, they, they make it look really clean and sharp. This is one of the best looking trailers I think we have on the lot. So I'm a big believer in 
Gotta look good to go fast. <laughs> All right. So thanks for joining me on this tour today. Um, these Cimarron Freedoms, we've got a big selection. If you're not a big fan of the dinette, we have this option in a couch um, that folds down into a bed as well. So we've got slight variations in colors and, and fixtures here. Give us a call. We'd love to discuss with you. I know these are new to the market. Um, I think you guys are really going to love the quality. You're going to love that they last for a very long time. Um, my name is Callie Say. My phone number is 970-309-6368. You can call me with any questions you have on this one or if you want a slightly bigger one. I've done a lot of videos on those bigger ones as well. For those of you that are really in love with this trailer um, and you want to find out more about it, you can go to transwest.com. The stock number for this one is 5N191174. This is a 2020 Cimarron Freedom. Thanks for tuning in.